guys, I'm Nicole and this is Calvin. And today, as you can see, we are talking about jelly beans because National Jelly Bean Day is coming up at the end of April. So today we thought, what better way to celebrate jelly beans than by not? eating mm -hmm. the Just world's greatest jelly beans. Gourmet. Jelly Belly Jelly Beans. <laughs> I'm sure most of you have had Jelly Belly jelly beans. They've been around for several years, but what makes Jelly Belly jelly beans significant and different than your normal jelly bean is that Jelly Belly jelly beans were the very first jelly bean mm. to have a flavored center. They were also the very first jelly bean for me to ever like. <laughs> That's true. There are a lot of people that will only eat Jelly Belly jelly beans. Me. This guy. And they don't care for the traditional old fashioned jelly bean. They don't have any flavor, but Jelly Belly has basically revolutionized the jelly bean world. It has. I don't know how they put so much flavor into these tiny little balls. Ever since I first discovered, which I think my first Jelly Belly ever was a bubblegum flavored. Really? And I remember thinking, you mean I get to eat and swallow my bubble gum without my mom whipping me till I bleed because you're not supposed to do that? I mean, you're not supposed to whip people till they bleed? <laughs> so that was the first one I had. And then I worked my way through the flavors and I was like, man. So is bubble gum your favorite flavor? No, it's just. What is your favorite flavor? I, I don't want to go down this road. What's your least favorite flavor? Well, obviously a black licorice. This guy. Right here. I, I don't know why they insist on putting no. these in these tiny little assorted packs. Now, I do. I cheated a little bit and I previewed some of these and mm -hmm. I looked and I looked and I thought that I had grabbed a pack, but I think they got shuffled around on me because, they did. of course, as soon as I opened it, there was one black licorice jelly bean. So mm -hmm. I say throw them out. I can't stand black licorice. But the rest of this variety pack that I got, there's Peach, mm -hmm. cotton candy. These mm -hmm. look like cotton candy. Mm -hmm. Very cherry. Looks like it. Have you ever noticed that every single Jelly Belly jelly bean mm -hmm. has something stamped on it? No, I don't guess I have. Every single Jelly Belly jelly bean is mm. branded and stamped to say Jelly Belly. They mm. didn't start doing that until I think the like late 70s. Mm. But what a way to just get your name on literally everything I that know. people are eating. What doesn't make any sense is that they use the same white stamp on the Quoco nut bean. It which is a means little you can't boggling. see that, so I could argue that this one doesn't have a stamp, but if you tell me it's on there, I believe you, Nicole. It should be. They would never lie to sell a product. Can, can I tell you real quick my uh, reasoning behind why they have black beans? Oh, yes. It's because Jelly Bellies, as we, as we have discussed, are like the, the new school of jelly bean. And I believe that they only include the black licorice bean for the old schoolers. I think they do it to try to win them in. Oh, yeah. Because a lot of people are saying, Dim ding foo foo beans. They're not like the old beans that we had that were just like garbage, black licorice. And more garbage. Like other garbage. And I'm saying, well, Wet these, garbage, these hot garbage, a lot of garbage jelly beans. Trashy but. garbage as well. I, I think they did that to try and reel them in. It's just it's a possible. belief. It's a belief. It's possible. I'm, can I open another one of these you just can. for fun? Yeah. Would you believe that there are three top flavors of the jelly beans? I, I would. Out of out of all the flavors. Now, Jelly Belly has over a hundred flavors of jelly beans, and we'll get into that. We've got some new ones that I want you to try. I'm some, gonna name every one. But the number one top flavor of jelly bean mm -hmm. is very cherry. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. The number two flavor? Mm -hmm. Buttered popcorn. Mm -hmm. Now, buttered mm -hmm. popcorn didn't even come out until 1989. That's pretty good. And it was the world's first savory flavored jelly bean. Because right. if you think about it, all the others are pretty much sweet, sweet things and fruit flavored. Mm -hmm. But then here came buttered popcorn, just blazing a new path. It revolutionized the gourmet bean. It did. Now I'm gonna throw you for a loop here. The number three most popular Jelly Belly flavor. Yes. Licorice. I hate that that is a fact, if it is. It is, it is. You can look it up on the Jelly Belly website. The See? number three most popular Jelly Belly and flavor. And they knew that it was popular. They knew, that's why they did it. Yeah. That, that, I love a lot of things about Jelly Bellies. I love that they blaze their own trail. I love that they're so tasty and delicious, but I hate the fact that they feel like they need to pander to the people with dead taste buds by including such a garbage bean. Now, speaking of garbage flavors. Yes. 
We've done the Bean Boozled Fiery Five Jelly Bean Challenge. Ah, I love them. He loved them. I hated them. Now, just them. as a refresher, the yeah. flavors in here are sriracha, mm -hmm. jalapeno. That was my favorite. Cayenne. That one tastes like dirt. I will agree to that, mm -hmm. yes. Habanero. That's hot. And Carolina Reaper. That one's real hot. They definitely lived up to the hype with they did. being fire jelly mm -hmm. beans. And not like, not fire in the hipster kind of way. No. Fire like, light a match, blowing flames out of your mouth, fire. So I didn't really, I wasn't truthfully prepared for this challenge when we did it. And we got a little cocky when we were doing this and we're like, let's just take five of this one or let's take all five and then chew them up. I had no milk on the way in, but I was wishing I had milk on the way out, y'all. Because I'm gonna tell you, they were hot. Some would say they were fiery. They were fiery hot. I kind of felt ill for a moment. <laughs> but I won't go into any additional details, but if you'd like them, they're on my Twitter feed. Check it out. <laughs> I have videos, everything else you could ever want to see. <laughs> That's a joke. Okay, so you loved the Fiery Five jelly beans. Loved it. I didn't. That's and your parting gift for today. I'm gonna oh let you God, take that home. Oh thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. You're welcome. That Fiery Five challenge is part of the Bean Boozled series. I'm sure everyone out there in internet land has already heard of Bean Boozled. If not, we have it right here. We're not gonna play this today. Nope. We don't have time for that. Nope, and I, I refuse to put hot barf in my mouth, even if it's a Jelly Belly. <laughs> yeah, now he says hot barf because the flavors of Bean Boozled, mm -hmm. maybe you're unaware of this, there are two flavors, two, for every one color of jelly bean. So the barf jelly bean, mm -hmm. it could be barf or it could be peach. You don't know until you put it in your mouth. It is a dangerous, dangerous game. I'm gonna tell you, I've had a split second of the barf in my mouth. It's rough. It's something I won't soon forget, ever. Yeah. Soon. That's bean boozled. What I really wanted to show you today. Wait. There is un more. There is more. I'm interested. Okay, so rolling out later this year is the Jelly Belly Unicorn Mix. Yes! Isn't that wonderful? Oh my gosh. So basically, Jelly Belly has taken some of their more popular flavors mm -hmm. and they've made sparkling versions uh, of them. Now, that doesn't mean that they fizz no. or anything. They're not carbonated. They're not carbonated now jelly beans. Now that's a shame. That would be interesting. That'd be delish. No, these are just iridescent, sparkly, shiny jelly beans. I think this will be popular for maybe Easter baskets or summertime treat for the kids that yep. love unicorns. Because there are unicorns on everything And who right doesn't now. glisten in the summertime? Really, think about it. When you sweat, you sparkle. So that's hitting stores soon. The other thing that I wanted to talk about Let's and talk about it. show you today, because I'm not sure if you've had these. So last year, Jelly Belly, being the flavor innovators that they are. God love them. They rolled out the recipe mix jelly beans. If you've had Jelly Belly jelly beans, then yes. you're probably aware that certain flavors mixed together mm -hmm. can actually taste like other things. Like if you take two blueberry jelly beans and you combine it with one buttered popcorn jelly bean, mm -hmm. it will taste like a blueberry muffin. Or if you take the lawn clippings and mix it with barf, it tastes like prom night. That's a recipe that they haven't printed yet, but... It's a secret one. It's off the menu. Once they catch wind of this video, I guarantee that's oh, gonna be... A wind that's blowing. gonna be printed. The Jelly Belly Innovators mm -hmm. have come up with five new flavors. Essentially, there are two flavors Toots. combined into every one jelly bean. This little bag now, really packs a flavor punch. Now, how do they do it? Do they cut two science. beans in half and they sew them? They do it with them? science. Go stick them together with some sort of epoxy? I'm uncertain. Do you want to find out? While she's opening that, if I can roll down memory lane, where I was Mr. Jelly Belly. I dressed up like a jelly bean, and I was in the, some kind of Christmas parade. First of all, I was unprepared, way underdressed, and I was inside a Jelly Belly uniform, freezing my Jelly Bellies off, if we know what I'm talking about. But I had a bucket full of these little baggies in there with me, and I was shredding through these mofs 
like nobody's <laughs> business because I had to sit in the back of a truck for like an hour and wait for it to start. By the time I got ready. You were ready, supposed to throw these out. In the I fridge. threw out like six of those packets <laughs> because all the rest were just like paper that was falling out of the bottom of it. And kids were like, he's pooping. I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a really great story. That's a okay. good one. Very so, near and dear. I have dumped out the contents of this bag. And oh, as you can see, God, they look it's, so not good. The, uh, it's not the most bright and cheery and colorful blend. But they look so tasty. But they do look good. And you can tell just by looking at them that there are several different flavors in front of us. Five to be exact. So Give me the deets. First one that we've got here. This is a s'mores jelly bean. So they have now combined the flavors of marshmallow, mm -hmm. chocolate, oh, graham one. cracker. Mm -hmm. I found one right here. I can't wait to try it. If you can carefully bite into it, you will see Oh man, I accidentally ate the whole one. Try that this the one. center is not like the center of most other jelly beans. Usually when you bite into a jelly bean, the inside of it is the same color as the outside, mm -hmm. with a major exception being watermelon. When you bite into a watermelon jelly bean, it's green on the outside yeah. and pink on the inside. Mm. So that's what they've done with all of these. Science, man. So the s'mores jelly bean has a brown center resembling the chocolate and then it's got the toasted marshmallow flavoring. It's pretty on point. God. Let's find a red one. What do you think this is? This would probably be a cherry mixed with, I mean, not chocolate, cherry and something that's like a light. Like a chocolate covered cherry? I mean, I would think. Well, I hate to tell you, but you're wrong. Okay, cool. This is a peanut butter and jelly jelly bean, which is interesting because years ago, Jelly Belly used to make a peanut butter jelly bean. And they did away with it when their factory went peanut free. But now we have peanut butter and jelly jelly beans. So what are they using for the nuts if there's no nuts? I don't know. People, That's top secret information. I mean, it could revolutionize science. I gotta try another one because it really did give me a flavor. Like I had a little tiny dab of PB and a little tiny dab of jelly, and I stuck them together onto it. one fingertip, and I ate it off. That's what it tastes like. Next up is one of these tan ones with the blue spots. I don't like the way this one looks. It doesn't look appealing. Really? No. Just because of the blended colors? Yep. Okay, what this do you one. think this one is? Uh, blueberry cheesecake. You're close. Ah. Blueberry muffin. Oh my gosh, I love a blueberry muffin. So just muffin. like the recipe that I mentioned earlier, they mm -hmm. have basically taken the flavors from blueberry jelly beans and buttered popcorn jelly beans and combined them to form the blueberry muffin jelly bean. Get me a 12 teen gallon bucket of these things right now and I will bury these things into my gullet so hard. It tastes hard. just like the Little Debbie snack pack little muffins, right? I would straight devour those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are delicious. You could eat handfuls of those. Oh my gosh, that's a great flavor. And then you don't even have to have breakfast. They're not even paying me to say this. I just love these things. Next up, find one with a lot of yellow. Now it looks like buttered popcorn. I love it. It has that that's look to it. Yep. But it's not. It's also got a little bit of an iridescence, as you were to say. It's it's a little sparkly, yeah. Mm-hmm. Any guesses? It could it be a unicorn PG-13? It's not. Okay. This is lemon meringue pie. It's got a lot of lemon flavoring. And you really get the meringue topping flavor too, which is just eggs and sugar that have been whipped together. Yeah, they definitely whipped them. They, they're they whipping tail on all of these flavors because they, they're nailing it. Last one. Uh oh. It's these dark brown ones. It looks like an espresso bean. I love that but it's not coffee flavored. Okay, chocolate unicorn fart. It's not that either. Oh. Any other guesses? We already thought one was chocolate covered cherry and that was wrong. You wanna bite into it and see if you can guess yeah. it? Let me see if I can pinpoint that flavor. Oh my gosh, instantaneously. Chocolate covered nanana. Yes, chocolate covered banana. Oh my goodness. Basically they took the flavoring from the top banana jelly bean and I'm guessing the chocolate pudding jelly bean. My goodness. And they combined those. Those are awesome. And it is chocolate covered banana. Man, this bag is trouble. It's pretty dangerous, huh? What are we looking at on calories on this thing? Every single Jelly Belly jelly bean, no matter the flavor, has four calories. That is a delicious freaking bag. It's 
pretty good, huh? Yeah. If you don't know anything about Jelly Bellies, but you like delicious things, and you're afraid of all the gross things, like hot ones or ones that taste like farts and Watch out for those. Other stuff. Go buy this bag and you will be a convert until the end of time. You will. Now yeah, we don't yeah. have these individual bags, but we have these in bulk at my store, which means you could buy as much mm -hmm. or as little as you wanted. So if you just want little. a small little dollar's worth. Girl, please. Or if you want $10 worth. Yes. You can do that <laughs> at my store. Sweet things. Come see us. Beautiful downtown St. Jenner, please. Don't forget to brush and floss after eating these things. It's very important. Pro tip. Yeah, so you, you want it because a lot of these travel down between your teeth and it's only right and fair and it's the Christian thing to do. Brush, get them out. There'll be more peeps. You don't have to hang on to them. <laughs> get them out of your teeth. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, mm -hmm. make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like the video. Until next time. Bye guys. Bye y'all.